Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining us today. I see we have uh, another good turnout with worldwide representation. We're going to talk today about a new uh, DLA, dual linear array corrosion probe designed for the OmniScan SX and MX2 for entry level corrosion monitoring and uh, er erosion. The probe is a 7.5 megahertz. 64 element probe optimized for pitch catch zero degree corrosion scans. So that means it has 32 elements on one side of the probe and 32 elements on the other side of the probe for a, a pitch catch typical of uh, uh, zero degree corrosion transducers used in both uh, phased array and UT inspection. Uh, the element configuration is a one millimeter pitch in two rows of 32. The probe has an internal wiring so that it does not require the pulse or receiver or PR option on your OmniScan module. A regular pulse echo instrument is compatible with this probe. Um, any of the 1664 instruments, including the SX, uh, is compatible with the probe. And it is designed with a mechanical roof angle frequency and aperture configuration to provide approximately one millimeter near surface resolution and a thickness accuracy typical of most phased array instruments without uh, auto gain correction for uh, about approximately 0.25 millimeters or 10 thousandths of an inch. <clears throat> The probe connects uh, to the OmniScan with a regular connector and uses the standard OmniScan uh, operating software. But unlike uh, some of the other probes, 1D linear array probes, typical of weld inspection and previous corrosion mapping, this has a fixed focal law or, or setup. So when booting the OmniScan, we boot normally and select uh, MXU 4.1 R12 or later, and that's currently available on the Olympus website now. With the probe from the factory comes a USB flash card for files to be transferred to the user folder of your SD memory card. The corrosion probe is designed to be used one, with one of these pre-configured files for an optimized beam side, size, and focal depth based on thickness. Uh, the default files provided are designed for carbon steel materials with a default velocity of 5890 meters per second. Uh, other velocities or other types of materials are compatible with the probe and the, the, the OmniScan, and that's explained a little bit later. But the overwhelming majority of these applications uh, are carbon steel. Uh, that's changing. Uh, rapidly, but even today it's uh, overwhelmingly carbon steel. The files are selected based on three criteria. The relative file that you'll need to drive your probe is first based on the OmniScan instrument. So that's either a first generation MX, a black smaller type non-touch screen OmniScan, uh, the MX2, which is the blue base unit with a touch screen, or the new OmniScan SX. So depending on which of those instruments you have, we'll select the appropriate group of files. And then for the MX2, there's another group based on if your module is either the first generation PA1 or second latest generation PA2. And then within the three for each of the uh, possibilities is a thickness range. The, the thickness range is a, a modification in the wedge delay and setup of the gate position and color palette relative for three ranges of which the overwhelming majority of the thicknesses for corrosion mapping that we see at Olympus would be the two millimeter to 25 millimeter 